Welcome folks to Unicorn Light Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a wonderful to have you here. Today we're going to do something just a little bit different. I want to work on healing the heart chakra, healing, uh, healing the heart in any way possible. And there's several different things we're going to do today. We're actually going to bring in some Reiki and some Reiki symbols and some Reiki energy. We're going to send them to you. So at the beginning of the session while I was preparing, I did the master symbol and I also did the long distance Reiki symbol. So everything is sorted. So all of the symbols from now on in, depending on which pile that you choose, will be sent to you. All that love will be sent to you. So we're really just looking for what information you need to heal your heart and what practical guidance we can give you and also some Reiki to help you on your way too. So we have three piles and as usual what I've done is I've collected, we've got three little beautiful things here that can help you secure a magical life. So just a little extra help um, a little extra guidance. Again, if you if it's something that you want to do, that's wonderful. Just a little extra tip to help and support you uh, healing your heart today. So I'm going to put these on the side. And we're going to pick one of these after each pile. So we have three piles here today. This is the wand I'm going to be using. I'm very, very excited. I've cleansed it just for this session today for Reiki and using Reiki symbols. So we have uh, the first one, the first pile, we have our lovely tiger's eye. Then we have our beautiful amethyst on our second pile. And then, of course, with the heart chakra, we have this beautiful rose quartz here for the third pile. So I'm just going to move these over here. So go ahead and... Take your time, see which pile resonates with you. If you want to pick more than one pile to see where your heart lies and what you need to do or what, what you could do to heal your heart, that's absolutely wonderful. Feel free to go ahead and pause the video so you can take a deep breath and get back in with your intuition, do whatever you need to do to pick, pick the right pile for you. Go ahead and do that. And the timestamps, as always, will be underneath. So you can go straight to your pile and find out what it is you need to do to heal your beautiful heart so you can have the life that you want. So I am going to put these aside for now. And... We are going to go right into pile one. So for you wonderful pile oneers, have the grounded tiger's eye first chakra here. Let's see again what we're looking for is information on how to heal your heart, what guidance you need to heal your heart so you can have the abundant filled life that you've always wanted. So first card. Take steps to ensure financial security of your children or loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. The Ten of Autumn here, and I'm using, so these are soul body cards. I think that's what they're called. They're really beautiful. So put that down there. Enlightenment, wonderful. That's a great card. And prayer. So just give me a second while we have a look at your cards and see again what it is information that we need to cure your heartache if you have any at all. Or just mend your heart or open your heart so you can have the life that you want. So... So the first message that I'm 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 receiving is that you're an eight you're innately magical. Everybody is to a certain extent, of course. Um, what you do with that magic is totally up to you. But I can see that you you've had the sort of life where um, you've believed at some point or had the impression that magic is outside of you. And I feel like you know I I keep getting this. Um, this vision of, of you looking at other people um, and and taking on their persona and, and saying things like, oh, I wish I could be that magical or, you know, she seems to have the magic touch and this, that and the other and not really 
understanding that that magic is within you and that you have that magic within you. So grounding into your power and seeing yourself as divine. So I see a lot of, for pile wanners here, I see some self-doubt, definitely in need of self-love, but also on the path of understanding that there is something else here that you want to achieve in this lifetime. When I say achieve, there I, I do see a spiritual path for, and again, this is a general reading for most of you, and and really understanding, or, or again, having the understanding that enlightenment or spirituality is, is again outside of yourself. I don't know if that's the impression that you got as you were growing up, or if something happened to you when you were younger or in your formative years, or if you still are, maybe it's still happening, where there wasn't a, a real need for connection with the universe insofar as like the examples that you had around you didn't necessarily show you a secure, um, uh, a secure, how do I put it? Um, a secure connection with the universe. So you saw that your divinity as something outside of yourself, but you were able to see it in other people. So it's not like a jealousy thing necessarily, but I can see you sort of modeling yourself on versions of other people like oh I like that about her I like the way that or I like the way he carries himself x y and z without realizing that you have the ability to be that yourself so I see a part of it is carrying some pain as we can see here and and keeping that pain with you now a, a lot of people do this um, keep their pain with them and and of course, we can we can get wisdom from our challenges and and create wisdom out of our challenges. And all of that is wonderful. But if we don't release all of that pain and allow it to transform into its natural form of love, then we 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 do tend to harbor emotions that will keep us blocked and especially the heart. Heart is the epicenter. Um, all chakras are very important. Obviously, the, every single chakra needs to be working properly for us to have a balanced life. But it is my opinion, or at least in a personal opinion, um, the first chakra and the heart chakra um, are the ones that in, in some ways are the, the real life force here. Um, and I feel like the first chakra, your first chakra and your heart chakra is slightly blocked. And I think some of that is to do with um, seeing the magic outside of yourself um, but understanding that metaphysically anything is possible. So you live this sort of um, interesting life where um, you do believe in the power of prayer, you do believe in connections, but you often see them outside of yourself. So I feel like the power is often given away and you can pull that power to you by understanding that you um, are the person that you are seeking to be and you always have been. So... Um, I think the biggest thing here is instead of um, becoming the, the person that you are and growing into the person that you are, all you need to do is shed and give some light into whatever you're carrying here so you can transform it, transform some of the pain and your experiences into true wisdom and beauty and love. And then you will see yourself uh, completely differently. I definitely do see... Um, you know, the practical side of yourself, but also um, the idea that uh, a, a tough life or, a, or abundance happens for other people. And, you know, when you do attract abundance, I can, I can feel that sometimes you don't feel that you can trust it, that it will stay. Um, so this idea of abundance being readily available to you um, and something that can that can free flow all of the time is not necessarily something that is second nature in your heart. That's the way that you think. So if something beautiful happens, you love the idea that be something beautiful happens, but you tend to cling on to it or really um, uh, just stay with the idea of it too long instead of like enjoying it for what it is, letting it manifest in the way that it does and knowing that more abundance is on its way. So I feel like there might be slightly, um, uh, some of you, uh, again, a general reading, but some of you, some of you might be prone to 
uh, control and maybe not trusting your heart. I think maybe in the past, your intuition, um, you may have denied your intuition. I feel like your intuition is impeccable and I do feel as though you do understand that your intuition is impeccable, but I feel as though you often go against it and say, well, you know, I have to pay this bill. I have to do this. I have to do that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't pay your bills. And I'm not saying that, of course, that um, that mentality isn't normal, but I feel like you've not often trusted enough to believe that something beautiful will happen to take you out of the situation. That's not to say that you don't believe in hard work. In fact, you really, really do. But I think the main message here um, to open your heart is to, again, trust in your intuition, but you do trust in, into, into your intuition. The main the main message I'm getting for you here is to act on your intuition and to believe that um, abundance can come to you free flowing all of the time, to change your prospects by changing your attitude toward the world. Magic is very much within you and not something that you have to even create. It's created within you because you're already magical. So I think what we can do here is I would love to do a Reiki symbol uh, for claiming your power. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna do power symbol here too. And I'm gonna be sending that to you. And claiming your power is something that's really, really incredible for you to do and also to claim your magic and it allow your heart to open up. I feel like you often have times where you open your heart and then you close it and then you open it and then you close it. So to have an open heart all of the time is, um, is somewhat of a luxury for you. But if we can ground you into that power, which we just did there, also I feel like, um, when you are not as grounded as you could be, not that you're prone to panic attacks, but you might be prone to overthinking in certain situations and in getting yourself into a little bit of a state. So what we're gonna do too is we're gonna send you this symbol. Shanti is one of my favorite symbols. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna leave that there. It creates a peace and a trust in life and uh, enables you to open your heart but on your own terms. Um, you need to be able to trust your world around you in order to open your heart on your own terms. It shouldn't be forced open per se and the best way to do that again is to ground yourself and to really believe in yourself and then it will automatically open. So we've sent you those. So I'm going to send you some extra Reiki here. I'm gonna do this. And that's just gonna make sure that you, you heal the emotional element of you. And we're also going to do one more thing. So this is just an extra tip that you can do. And if you choose not to do it, that's totally, completely up to you. It's just if you want to, a little extra help. So learning about your magical, getting back into your magical self, again, not seeing it as something outside of yourself, but innately within you. And even if you do understand that you're magical, taking action to bring it right into your life and integrate it into your life. So here, learn about one herb, then use it for um, a magical, it, either tea or potion, and make sure to document your results. It would be really nice if, you know, even in your journal, nobody's saying that you have to, you know, uh, go crazy and get a, a book of shadows, or if you already have one, that's wonderful. Excuse me, stop that shaking. But um, really simple uh, herbs, like uh, burdock root is something that you probably don't naturally have in your house. You might have to go out and get, but that would be a wonderful, wonderful herb for you. It's very easy to make as tea. It's very earthy tasting. So I don't know if you'll like it, but you can, you can add honey in it if you're not vegan or other sweeteners that you can add. And that's something that cleanses your blood. It will also help you cleanse your past 
help you open up your heart and definitely ground you. If you're already somebody that's into herbs and understands about herbs, then seek out a herb that you probably don't know that well. Learn everything about it. If it grows in your neighborhood or in your area, go visit it. Learn everything you can again about it and feel the energy of it growing wild. This is something that is a practical thing that you can do to, to bring in that magic. And then once you start working with that herb, you'll learn to trust yourself again. And if you want to take it one step further, you can use burdock root in all sorts of ways um, in magical spell casting and even use it in a candle. Um, and you can make tinctures, add it to your candle for extra grounding when you do spell work or just light a candle for extra grounding with the intention spell work. Absolutely does not have to be complicated or cost a ton of money. This is not what we're about here. In fact, I really try to to work with people, excuse me, and work with um, herbs that just are in the kitchen already. Again, the one that I used for an example, burdock root, doesn't quite do that. You probably have to go out and buy it, but it it, it, it will be in your local store, um, probably in a co-op or something like that, and it really isn't that expensive. So, pile oneers, we are, holding that energy for you to open your heart, to ground into your power, and to to learn to trust your, your magical insights as something being absolutely innate and not outside of yourself. So please sit with that power that you have. That Reiki is absolutely on your way to you. I hope you felt it. Please let me know if any of this resonated with you, Paul Wanners, in the comments below. And we're going to say thank you for being here and sending so much blessing and beautiful heart sp space for you today. Thank you so much for being here. You're the best. So pile two, here you go. So if you chose pile two, this is your beautiful amethyst. We're going to put it next to pile one's tiger's eye there. So again, what we're looking for is any kind of insight into how to heal your heart, how to ground into your power, open your heart so you can have that beautiful abundant life and any kind of Reiki symbols that we can give you, any kind of Reiki energy to help and support heal your heart, that that will be wonderful too. We also have an extra tip for supporting your heart healing just here at the end of this pile. So let's see what we have. Hmm. Okay. Emperor. Okay. So the first thing that I'm getting here, pile two, is the need to balance. And I feel like, and again, this is a general reading. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to put the wand here we're going to use for Reiki. I do feel as though you, you may have tried to balance in the past, but maybe you balance too much. And sometimes the way in which that we, we, we've tried to balance before is that we've gone too far one way, gone too far another way, and then in the end we find balance that way. Now you could have been that person where you kind of lived in extremes. I know in the past, I certainly have. Maybe the sort of person where um, uh, a lot of people around you growing up maybe um, didn't really quite understand why you had to do things the hard way. But you've never really, um, you've never really been afraid to live life and take chances, which is great. Um, I think the idea of balance um, is not necessarily second nature to you. And if it is, it's not something that you can stay in constant flow with. Now, balance really is about, you know, doing one thing and doing something and then coming back into balance. Um, if we if we really try to do or put too much control over the balance, then of course that's not true balance. But I feel like we can help you balance here today and get you successful into your life. The one thing that I can, I, I'm, I'm getting very, very strongly is that um, the message that I'm getting is that you, you've never been afraid to go to the dark side of yourself. Like you've really gone into the shadow aspect of self. 
Um, and I feel in that way, um, that's a wonderful thing to do. Um, obviously, we all need to do that to heal and to, to take full responsibility for our actions. And I feel like what you've done is taking full responsibility for your actions you have because you've really gone into your shadow self and sort of discovered all sorts of things about yourself and you're not afraid of that. Or if you have, I, I think you, you might have had a little bit of a fear, perhaps even a, a fear of your own power. But I think what's happened is that you've opened yourself up so much to the darkness is that you've... um you've kept a little bit of that darkness with you and you've you know you've carried that darkness in a way that you've not needed to and i feel as though that's attracted some other uh negative energy into your life and i i don't i think you've gotten i feel like that you've gotten to the point where you're not really attracting too much too many negative situations or too many people and if you do you're you're able to to shirk them off quite quickly but I feel like there might be sort of some old beliefs or some a little bit of, of old energy in there, which I think we should take care of today. Um, and that might keep you back sometimes um, or prevent you from from having that true balance that I, I feel that you can have. I feel like you're, you're naturally a very balanced person, but I feel like you spend a lot of try, time trying to build success from balance instead of just allowing yourself to be balanced. And I just feel like it's, and the word I keep getting, I use this word a lot, the word I keep being told, I use it a lot because I'm always told it, is echoes. So, and also sludge. I feel like none of this negativity is yours, but you have carried it a little bit too much. Um, I'm not saying that you're cursed or anything like that. I, I feel like that's very dramatic but I feel like people do look at your power as something to be a frightened of sometimes um, because they don't under people don't understand their own power you're very very powerful and you sort of command power in a way that I'm not sure you understand or um, can fully understand but I feel like some people give you uh, sort of um, can send you bad vibes because they don't understand you. Um, and I feel like because you've gone so deep and so dark, um, you can you can almost cling on to that energy without realizing that you've picked it up. So I think what we're going to do is cleanse you off that energy of any of that, that echoey energy that's come in from you going deep and dark into your shadow self. Um, and again, I do want to reiterate, you are very, very... Um, comfortable you've learned to be comfortable with doing the shadow self work and you're very responsible for your own energy this is just um, echoes of, of old stuff that hasn't that just needs to be cleared out and then of um, other people's energy uh, being projected onto you I think you've definitely been one of those people where people wanted to label you or project upon you so they could um, so they could understand who you were and it was really important for them to do that because you you have you you hold a lot of power and you frightened people so if they can label you and put you in a box you weren't so frightening you didn't ask for that and i think you might have kept some of that energy um you may or may not be aware of it so all we're gonna do like i said is clean you up today and this beautiful reiki symbol i think it's noza goza Noza. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I use these symbols for years and years and years. And to be honest with you, I don't really know what they're called. I never really look at names. But this symbol will definitely clear everything out um, of all that negativity. And also it connects the lower and the higher self. So any kind of work that you've done in the dark side or in your... Um, and again, I, I want to be clear, the dark side doesn't mean evil. <laughs> No, it's just the shadow self. Anything that you've done in the shadow, it will clear out and connect the lower and the higher. So if there's any work that's been done um, that hasn't been fully integrated yet, then that will help integrate. And I'm just going to, I also want to make sure that we give you that power energy there also. Um, so you can you can stand in your own power and really claim that balance without striving for it. I also feel like you are 
definitely on the precipice of something brand new and just clearing out any of those echoes um, that you've had before from delving deep and, and doing all of the work that is necessary for us to do, then, you know, we can, we can absolutely integrate all of that energy today so you can open your heart fully. And some of this energy, I'm just going to do this symbol. I know it's a symbol one more time. I just love this symbol and send the power symbol to just one more time to really make sure all of that energy is integrated. I'm being told to the one thing that is clear that that you should know, the one message that's coming through loud and clear is that you've done enough work in the darkness now. You've, you've gone into the shadow self. You no longer need to go in there and to retreat in order to figure out who you are. You might be fully aware of this already, but it's time to bathe in the light now and to, to claim all of that power and to get back out there. Um, you, you've done all of this now. All of your beauty will come from just reclaiming and integrating that light. So um, you've done everything that you need to do with the shadow self. Not that things won't come up, but you don't need to delve so deeply anymore. So um, all we're doing is grounding you, opening your heart, integrating all of that beautiful energy and all that beautiful wisdom that you've already done and you've already discovered for yourself and really clearing away all of the echoes um, from you and from other people. So if you just imagine yourself in a bubble now and I'm bringing in Mother Mary wants to come in and just really clear out some of that old stuff. I feel like you've really been projected upon, like you really have a lot of power and people definitely wanted to put you in that box so they could understand you. That's something that just didn't need to happen. You are ready to step up into and work solely in the light. Um, you've done everything that you need to do in the darkness just to reiterate and you are ready to claim your power. And I hope that Reiki helped you and will continue to help you. I would pay attention to your dreams. I can feel like there's some messages coming for you in dreams that will really help you in the next couple of days. And should you decide to... If you decide that you need just a little extra help and support, then here we go. So invest in your own tarot deck to keep your connection to the universe strong. I feel like a lot of you would already have tarot decks and oracle deck. Um, so what I would say is that I'm getting the strong message is to buy a brand new oracle deck that you're attracted to based on your free energy now. Hopefully after this reading, you can feel a little bit lighter. I, I really hope you do. And if you do, and any of this resonated, please absolutely let me know in the comments. Treat yourself to a new Oracle deck based on your energy now and just see the messages and, and feel the messages and work with your intuition and the universe in a completely different way. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So take a deep breath, Pile Tours. Thank you very much for being here and allowing this healing today. Like I said, I hope everything or some of it resonated. Please let me know in the comments and let me know how you are in the next couple of days sending out the Reiki to you today. So last and not least, but not least, I think that's how the saying goes, we have our Rose Quartz, which we're going to put there with our other beautiful amethyst and other crystals. So again, for pile three, we are looking for some advice, some healing, um, some support in clearing out the heart chakra, opening up the heart chakra, what we need to do to heal completely, uh, ground into our own power to accept the wisdom or attract the abundance based on a, a beautiful open heart so we can have that that beautiful life that we've always wanted or just increase our abundance in our life but we're definitely looking for extra help with our heart chakra and how to heal it so here we are today oh dear impatience not oh dear in that way just oh dear i totally understand because I'm definitely an impatient person, so I'm there for you. And steps, here we go. So he's a bottom. Oh, windfall of money, advice or assistance from others. Very successful project, happy change in your career. That is wonderful. Steps, 
here and we have this beautiful card also. So what a perfect card. Pile three is here. Um, you're actually holding your heart chakra and you're holding your heart and this beautiful stone is in there and straight into your crown chakra too. So the first message that I'm getting is that if you, I feel as though there, there has been a little bit of impatience recently insofar as I feel like you have done a lot of work and even maybe set up uh, some kind of new business or some kind of new path recently and you're wondering if this is the right way to go if this is or maybe I'm also getting for some of you again this is a general reading I'm getting for some of you I feel like on my last reading the pile three years um, also had a love interest but I'm also feeling um, that you've been working on your heart recently to get ready for a love interest you're finally ready um, for love. I feel like there has been a sort of a sequestering period where you've sort of gone within and decided that maybe you, you've wanted to to heal your heart on your own terms so you're not attracting um, the same kind of person or the same kind of situation and that has been successful. I, I think there might have been a little bit of impatience around you know feeling ready and wondering if if the universe is going to support you and when it's going to happen. So I can tell you right now um, the first message I'm getting is things are absolutely happening for you and that the steps that you have taken and, and everything that you have done has been heard. I feel like you've worked on yourself significantly. I would say last month too, we're now in Libra season and we're going into Scorpio season at the end of October. Very, very powerful season. This will be um, a very powerful month we're coming into in the month of October. Um, I feel like the last month has definitely been something, uh, been a month where you've been working on yourself, putting yourself out there, and you're wondering if anything is going to pay off. Um, and there might be a little bit of impatience. Maybe you, you're sitting there going, but I'm ready, universe, I'm absolutely ready. Or you've, like I said, you've started something, or maybe you've started a new relationship and everything is going very, very slowly. And you're wondering if you know, you're absolutely ready beyond a shadow of a doubt for things to take off lightning fast and like it, you don't feel as though it's it's going as quickly as you would want. So because it's maybe not qu going as quickly as you want, you're wondering if it will happen at all. Well, please don't worry and please be rest assured that everything is is coming into place and things will take off very, very quickly. You've done a significant amount to actually heal your heart. And that has been incredible. Give me one second here. Just doing, I just want to listen for a second. Yeah, so you have done so much. I'm actually being called for some reason um, to put this on your heart chakra because I feel like this stone or any kind of rose quartz or even wearing rose is something um, that could be amazing for you. I feel like you've been working on your heart chakra and I feel like those of you who chose pile three, it was probably because you are working with rose quartz. I think what we can do here is um, the first symbol I am going to do is I want to give you um, the power symbol here and I want to connect the right side and the left side of you, your your intuition, your masculine and your feminine. I also am going to do this beautiful symbol here along with the power symbol again so we can heal the lower chakras. And I think the impatience, again, I'm being told that the impatience that comes up and I feel like it, it comes up and in, 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 in fits and starts like almost a little bit of a temper tantrum like, oh, I just I want this now which is totally fair enough who wouldn't but um, we've just connected your heart chakra to your lower chakras now so um, and cleaned up your first chakra I just want to send out some extra energy there to you I don't know there seems to be an alarm in the background so if you can hear that and it picks up on a micro uh, microphone I apologize for that so we're just going to send some extra um, healing for your first chakra. So when that impatient comes up, impatience comes up because you're grounded and we, we're clearing out your first chakra there, 
you will know that you, you can absolutely and positively trust that everything will work. When you get impatient, it's because you, um, you don't have faith in the universe to deliver. Um, and you don't have faith that what you've done is enough. And that is not true. Um, it's really important, the message that I'm getting here, it's going to hold the wand, is that all of the steps that you have taken are moving you forward in a very, very successful path, on a very successful path. And you have been divinely led, I feel like, from the beginning on these paths. And even though you might feel as though that some of these steps are just incidental or they're terribly small, they're really not because they've led you on to the next thing. And it is preparing you for something really, really, truly beautiful um, to come to come to fruition. You've done a lot of, you've done research or you've allowed yourself to really uh, rely on your intuition. So every step that you've taken has been divinely guided and there's absolutely no way in high heaven or earth that you could fall short of what it is that you're seeking. Now, I will say that the message that I'm getting, and, and this is something that happens a lot, is that when you do finally um, receive what it is that you've always wanted, it might look and feel completely different to how you thought it would. But I assure you, that's even a good thing. I, I feel like the universe is going to deliver in such a way that it might be slightly out of the blue, but all of your steps have taken you there and it's going to be divinely protected and absolutely beautiful, full of abundance. And I do feel like it is... Um, career change, but definitely something that you will be doing as um, as a lifelong, I, I keep getting life coach or helping others, but it's, it's some kind of leadership ability. So I feel like there's a lot of things that you've done over the years, actually, um, that may in some ways you may have thought didn't even tie together. But I feel like a lot of different things are coming into their successful mode now and taking off and will integrate together in a really, really incredible way. So, um, so I feel like, yes, it says advice or assistance from others. I feel like for this, I'm getting very strongly that working with your guides for this and, and just really bridging that gap between your intuition and having faith that everything will happen in divine timing. So when that impatience comes in, please just sit with your first chakra and just know that it will and just breathe out all of that sort of impatience and maybe self-doubt. And remember that your heart, like you, you can definitely use, even putting your hand over your heart or using um, the stone, something similar to this rose quartz, there's others, other uh, crystals that could definitely help. But my mine is always rose quartz for the heart. I, that's just absolutely my favorite to go ahead and just clear out that doubt and remember, return to self-love and remember that you are supported divinely in everything that you do. So I'm going to... I'm going to send you the power symbol one more time and we're just going to send that to you. So I'm going to take a deep breath in there and while we're doing that I'm going to pull out. So we have this. Cleanse with a salt bath for beginning anew. So you can get um, salt um, pink Himalayan sea salt, Epsom salt, um, using the bath and the salts to cleanse with intention will just help you cleanse that first chakra when you come into impatience. So when you get out of that bath and you know you can take in your crystals with you, um, even put rosebuds in there would be lovely with the, the rose scent again. So to cleanse out the first chakra and just to, to remain balanced and just to remember Impatience isn't necessary. It is all unfolding in divine timing. The universe has your back and everything is about to come to fruition. Every single step that you've taken is going to be obvious very, very soon. If it hasn't already started, 
sort of moving. I feel like for some of you, again, this is a general reading, for some of you that the real wheels have started to, to turn very, very slowly and you can start seeing some of your returns that you've, that you've, with energy that you've put out there and some, some of the things that you've done um, and some of this energy that you've put out, but it's, it's really going to come in thick and fast and you are going to hold so much joy in your heart. So, we, um, I'm just going to do one more symbol to see a key symbol. I just want to, to connect to, um, make sure that the crown chakra, your crown chakra is also open. So you can just get back in there with your spirit guides and just help them along. And so they can help you along in your next step. So if you need to ask for your next step, then they're there to guide you and help you with that impatience also we're going to breathe into that energy and so excited for you um, whatever you've put out there you're about to see the abundance come back literally thick and fast so we're going to send you all of that powerful reiki today and we want to thank you for being here and for being you, I'm truly, truly excited for you and your brand new beginnings, even though I think most of them have already started. But I would say hold on to your hats because it's coming in thick and fast and you probably won't even be the, the same person that you are now in six months. So please check in and let me know in the comments if any of this resonated. If not even today, then later on in the next couple of weeks and let me know how you felt about the Reiki. So I'm going to put that over there. I want to thank everybody for being here today. Thank you for being you. I truly hope that your heart chakra is more open and that you're more grounded and connected. And I'm going to send you all Reiki tonight. Um, all the love in the world. And please join us next time. Until then, take care and bye-bye.